Hi, so what we're going to do um, today is a, a one-stroke feline, okay? You can either go for a lion, a tiger. Um, well, it's going to be the first time I'm actually painting on my own face. I don't normally paint my own face, but I suppose we're going to have to do that now in quarantine. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be using to start off with to do my... Um, uh, mullet is a um, the Paradise Makeup Brush from Uni. I absolutely adore this one. Um, and white, the chameleon white. Load your brush and then make your, your cute little mullet with this. You know why I hate painting myself is because I've got an older skin that's had quite uh, <laughs> quite a life. So it just doesn't come out as pretty and smooth. Okay, I'm going to lift these glasses up. Pull that up a bit. Pull that up a bit. There we go. And then I just give a little bit of white in there. I don't actually go on the eyes, especially with with kids. I um, I don't actually go on the uh, eyes. So just coloring a little bit around the, the eyebrows. Okay. Let me use my glasses as, because uh, I do need them every time. Okay, and then once I've done that, I Grab a um, the one stroke, the one stroke brush, and I'm actually going to be using the color block paint Topia, which has got a beautiful. You got the brown, the orange, the yellow, and then a um, lighter yellow. And I load that up. And then with the brown side, oh, let's see how we're going to do this with no glasses on, people. Wish me luck. <laughs> I come just under the eye. And I'm now using the brown side along the edge of my white. I'm around... And then I turn it around and I go along the, the edge of the eye with my brown and bring it down and bring it down. Right? So using, using that brown edge just to bring it down. It's not easy if you can't actually see what you're doing. But I think you can get the gist of it. Do you know what I mean by an old skin that gets all wrinkly and... Ah! <laughs> Don't you just love this quarantine? Hey? Wonderful. Go and have my models. But anyway, we've got to do it for the safety of everybody. Okay, now we go to the other side and the same thing there. We're going to go along the edge of the white that you've just put down. Along the edge, along the edge. And come down. When I do face paints uh, with kids, I don't actually go all the way down. Um towards the mouth area because more often than not the children have been eating sweets or you know you're at some party where they're drinking they're eating so I tend to not paint all the way down 
I just paint until the the edges of the cheeks. I see that the side can come further down a bit. Let's bring it further. Now we're going to go by the eyes so just need to put my glasses on again so I can actually see my products so what I'm going to use now is I'm going to use the um, chameleon um, and in this case it's going to be the orange and the yellow on the actual eyelids using a, a blender brush, so a makeup brush. And I've noticed by doing this, it um, it's a lot, lot nicer for the kids not to have all that, um, to have paint on their eyes. Some kids have, have a problem when you paint their eyes, whereas when you're using the, the powder, they're actually quite okay with it so yeah and it's a nice um, pigmented powder so get a nice nice coverage and it's a nice price as well because that's also important obviously when doing your jobs So just putting some powder on the eyes. There we go. Done that. I'm going to load my cake again and I'm going to carry on um, putting in the, the lines that I need. And let's do along the nose area as you can see I've got my my eyes done and we come along the nose area um, I need to be able to show you as well and be able to see myself so this is going to be interesting so I just take it along the the actual nose area along where I've, I've got that little white stripe that I put in there and I'm taking it up and around. Maybe it's better if I go from this side, then you can see it better. I must be honest, it's easier to do it on a child. <laughs> but I so want to show you guys. Other side. And obviously when you when you're doing this on the job it goes a lot quicker. Now here you can either choose to 
to do a, you know, to actually finish it off by giving it a, a little ear. Or you could just go obviously to to the top with this color, just color it in. But it's always cute just to give a couple of little ears. Wait, fine. That was not what I was supposed to do. Yeah, painting yourself, people. Shh. <laughs> if you don't do it often, that's what you get. I don't turn around and say that I need to do that more often now because. I like to paint other people and not myself, okay? All right. I'm just going to take this little piece and do a little juju around the eye. So just using my one stroke. Watch me get a fright when I take take my uh, put my glasses on, and you guys are all laughing in the meantime. Just use the back of the brush. Let's do that. Get a little bit of glitter on my fingers.
Now, I'll take my um, number. Number four round. Put a little bit of, of black. What's also very nice is if you can, if you've got some um, um, glitter, is just to put a little bit of glitter on your on your mallet. It always looks cute when you've got a, a glittery mallet. I was looking for my loose glitter and I think it's in the car. So I'm just using a bit of glitter gel. Just to put on my mullet now. It looks all fluffy, like a little fluffy mullet. Yes. Okay, let's load some black. And let's see if we can see now to do these lines. Oh dear. Okay, and I count up and in. Push around, wiggle a little bit. Push around, wiggle a little bit. And then take it up. Hmm. That last little wiggle. Yeah, I suppose I've got a, a bit of a <clears throat> chubby cheek, so I need to go past that. Okay, take it off, wiggle it a bit. This is something I learned from Mark Reed. Yes, yes, the famous Mark Reed. If you ever want to learn line work, and he is just an absolute genius. Absolutely loved being in his classes. Okay, now we're going to go and do the, the nose. You could choose for a, a pink nose if you want. I'm going for a little black feline nose now. What I sometimes do um, when I'm face painting and say that uh, it's in the winter months that you get more children that have got colds or a little bit of a snotty nose or they've been crying because they've been waiting in the row and they didn't want to wait so long. And those you get too. I actually do this and that I'm doing now with my brush. I actually do it with a Q-tip. just for safety for other people, for other children. And then we bring it down. And I hear people saying, why don't you actually use a sponge? Um, 
I actually find that extremely messy on my fingers and uh, yeah it's a personal thing sometimes I do use a sponge um, I like the butterfly sponge I think that's really a cool one okay now we need to concentrate Oh dear, can't really see what I'm doing. Hmm. Well done to the Ladies and gents that always paint themselves, my gosh. Well, I suppose not having good eyes doesn't help very much either. Okay, obviously when I'm doing a, a little kid's eye, I actually don't go around the eye like this the only movement i make is coming from the corner of this eye i still make my point but then i take this and i tell them to close their eyes and i go around and i lift it up that's it so i don't actually do more than that with a little uh with a kid that doesn't like you coming close to their eyes Yeah. Now the other side. my word this this um, wonderful mirror I'm using <laughs> actually doesn't make it easier I must be honest it's like Okay, and then we can come down here and make a wiggly wiggly thing down here. And in this sense, I can I can choose to to make it a lion, make it a tiger, make it a whatever I uh, I wish to make it. At this stage, when I get to this, I can go any way I want. I'll make it a liger. Hey.
with my blender. Just to bring the hard edges away a bit. Basically, you could send a kid off now already. I mean, it's, you know, you don't have to do all of this extra bits and bobs. Uh, is not really necessary. It's just fun to do. Having some fun with black. Need to put some music in here. Let the music play. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't see it.
teary eyes. And it's purely because I'm not used to looking in this mirror. And this mirror is driving me insane. I'll show you just now what I'm looking in. And you'll understand why I'm like... go my little feline okay now little dots that's taking a lot longer on myself than uh, if I would do it on a kid got that done in no time but uh, at least this way you guys can see it easier too right Now I want my long liner, the Sunny Mountain Long Liners, load a bit of white, and get some whiskers in there. Lumpy nose, just that little little ridge. I like it. Little white ridge along the nose. <laughs> well, that is basically my one stroke little what would you call it? Little cheetah. Hope you enjoyed. Ciao.